Hello, welcome to Got Therapy, giving a great big hug to all of CSU. I have with me today Miss Ula Majub Weaver, and we're going to talk today about career counseling. Miss Weaver. Hi. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I am the coordinator of career counseling at the center, meaning that uh, my passion is to meet with students and to help them figure out what to major in or and what careers to to pursue. Um, I am originally from Lebanon. Uh, I have been at CSU for five years. Um, what else? Um, is the food better in Lebanon or at CSU? Well, <laughs> um. well how about this? How about um, how about we start with um, how does someone actually come to CSU to get career counseling? What do they need to do? All they need to do is to make a phone call uh, to the counseling center and uh, let the person who answered the phone know that they are interested in career counseling. So the person will give them an appointment. Probably within the same week, they make the phone call. Mm -hmm. This is all it takes. It's a phone call. Okay, well, I'm really cheap, so this is a question I might ask is, how much is this going to cost? It's free for CSU students. It's also free for people from the community. If they are interested in career counseling as a service to the community, we can offer them career counseling services. Oh, so this is available to non-CSU students as well? Especially if they are interested in pursuing oh. higher education. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, how about this? Maybe you could sort of uh, give me um, maybe your philosophy on career counseling, because I'm assuming there are lots of different ways to do this. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that uh, there are lots of wrong ways and that yours is the right way. Absolutely. That's what I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> that. And uh, I know one of the things that um, most people who think of career counseling, they think of getting a career test. Mm -hmm. And that once you take this test, it tells you what you need to do and what you need to be, and then you just do what the test says. And I'm assuming that may be a little different than your philosophy. Absolutely. Some people think that by taking a test, the test will tell them exactly what they need to, uh -huh. to pursue. And this is a misconception for me. Uh, career counseling is really based on the conversation between the therapist and the, the client or the student. And, um, you know, each student comes with a story. And the story is yeah. stuck at some point. They don't know in what direction to go. So all we're doing is to help the student figure out what direction to take. Mm. So it's a conversation between two people. And the therapist cannot tell the student, you know, this is what you need to be doing later. Uh -huh. All we're doing is helping the student figure out which direction to take. Yeah. And I hear in that that there's the idea of a, there's the story. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific name for the kind of career counseling? Is there like a... It's, it's, it's a constructivist approach. Ah, constructivist approach. So we take into consideration the story of each student and, you know... And really, each story can go in so many different ways. So we help the student figure out in which, which direction, you know, he or she wants their story to go. How about this? What is the difference between the career center and career counseling at the counseling center? Because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be confused about this. Absolutely. We're prettier. We're much prettier than... We also smell nicer. Those guys... <laughs> Okay, the career, we complement each other really. The yeah. career center, they help students with job interviews, uh, resume cover letter, um, things like that. Yeah. It's more for job, pursuing a job. Yeah. While the, careers, the, counseling, the career counseling at the counseling center, if a student does not know what to major in, or they already have a major and they don't know what to do with the major that they are, you know, that they have identified for themselves, we help them for that. The, the undecided students may be looking for something different. For the undecided students, this is the place to go, really, ah. uh, because we help them figure out what they want to major mm -hmm. in. Now, as I said, if they already have a major and they don't know what career really to pursue, because think about, for example, communication. 
There are so many careers that fall on, under that big umbrella. So we help the students as well figure out which career, you know, they would like to, to have later. Well, as you say that, when do you think a, a student should come in for career counseling? Should they do that as a freshman, as a senior? What, where do you think in their, in their? Well, I like freshmen. Mm -hmm. I like because, you know, lots of freshmen come to CSU or to any college and they think that they know exactly mm -hmm. what to major in and what career they want to pursue. And once they get exposed to different classes, mm -hmm. they change their mind. Mm -hmm. So if, you know, a freshman comes either undecided to, to um, Columbus State or they're having some difficulties with classes or they're not sure anymore about, you know, their major. This let them start right then. Mm. It doesn't mean that, you know, we're the, the sophomore or fresh uh, or um, juniors or seniors are not welcome. So everybody is welcome. So as you say this, okay, I'm thinking, how long does this take? Is this... Uh we're talking three, four years, one, two sessions. What, what do you think? Well, um, it's a process. Career counseling is a process, and it does take time. But we can start the process. On average, students take two to three sessions for career counseling. But some students need more. Mm. So it depends really on the person and what's going on in his or her life. Mm. So it sounds like... That may be something that the career counselor and the student sort of work out as to absolutely, how they might. absolutely. How about this? Can you? Um, a, a lot of people really won't know what to expect. They've never done this before, and mm -hmm. anything with the word counseling in it might sort of scare them. Mm -hmm. So maybe could you sort of walk me through this? Like what 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 happens, and so that way somebody okay. watches this may know what to expect. Okay. Once the student called the career, the counseling center and make an appointment they come for an initial interview. Mm -hmm. So once they are at the counseling center, there's a little bit of paperwork to fill out, mm -hmm. and then they see a counselor. Oh. And it's just like our conversation here. It's a conversation, as I said, between two people. So they go into an office. Everything is confidential. Whatever they are you know, telling the counselor is totally confidential. Mm -hmm. Nothing goes on their records. I know that some students are a little bit hesitant about coming to counseling center because they think that something is going to go on their record. It's not the case. Mm -hmm. If there are 18 year old, anything that they're saying, well, there are few exceptions to that, but any, you know, whatever they are disclosing to the, to the counselor is between them and the counselor. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's a conversation between two people. Mm -hmm. Usually the session lasts like 40, 45 minutes. And, you know, depending on what's going on, they, are, they, they, they can take a test that might help in the exploration process if they need it. Yeah. If not, they will come back for, you know, as, as many times as they need until, you know, they know in, in which direction to go. And, I, and one of the things that really stood out from what you said is that there, this is confidential. Mm -hmm. And my guess is if there are a couple, if, if if they said something that they were going to be a threat to themselves or someone else, we might that confidentiality might have to be broken. Exactly. But but anything else, anything is, else totally is totally just... confidential. Well, how about this? Maybe we can give them the um, the number mm -hmm. for the counseling center so they okay. know where to uh, to come see us at, and that is uh, 706-507-8740. And we also have a lovely website. Um, it's also, uh, I think it's going to be up there on the screen. And uh, any, uh, any parting comments? Please come see us and uh -huh. see if it works for you or not. Nobody forces nobody else to come or to meet with a therapist. And really, you know, try that out and see if it helps or not. So please come see us. Uh -huh. Well, that's it for uh, God Therapy Today.